just also recognize uh, Athletics Kenya. Waziri, when you come to the Ministry of uh, Youth Affairs, uh, Creative Economy and Sports, and particularly the Department of Sports, let me say it is a very organized department. Organized <laughs> because when you look at the um, engagement, particularly federations, they do it with military precision. We had said that you would be here at 11. We expected you here at 11, and you came at 11. And you found that everybody was seated, and everybody was waiting for the address. And, and within one hour, it is expected that this ceremony will be over. So the discipline that sports and sports persons seated here today is quite high. And that is probably the reason why Kenya became the second in, in Africa in terms of the medals the that world. we got in the, the world, in the, the first in Africa mm -hmm. and the second in the world Athletic. in, in uh, track events because of the kind of discipline we've had in this country. So let me take this opportunity also to thank Athletics Kenya and more so the federations that could be here, here uh, present or elsewhere because of the good work they have been able to do. Because when you look at also uh, football, the under, under 20, the under 17, and, and uh, everybody else, you realize that they are doing a good job. But specifically because today we are dealing with athletics, let me also take this opportunity to thank those of you who have qualified. And they usually when they say, because you qualified to be in this meet in Peru, we expect that you've trained yourself sufficiently to be able to beat everybody else that you will meet wherever you go, right? The other day when uh, the, the CS was uh, brought in as a CS for our ministry, he came to Paris and we won two gold medals on the same day. <laughs> now imagine he has come here when you are preparing to leave to Peru. What are you people going to do? This is just to win. Yeah, because I was telling him uh, in, 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 Af in the African language, you usually say that when you come in and you find people are partaking of food or they are winning some kind of competition, then you've come in with good legs. <laughs> do, do they say that also where you come from? So again, he has come in when you people are going to win. And uh, when I, sp I was speaking to the president yesterday before we organized for this meeting, he was telling me he's seeing a lot of gold medals with you people. <laughs> and then lastly, I, uh, Waziri, as you come in, it is also important for the nation to know that uh, the ministry is very intact and it has begun to look up. You can see what we've been able to do when you look at the expenditure that we've uh, used for those who went to Paris for the Olympics. It was the most minimum this time round. Mm. But the performance improved <coughs> drastically, mm. right? There was no noise. We gave out the list. The number of um, participants, officials that went were those core officials that were required by law in the sporting activity. Again, for the first time this time round, Waziri, on um, Safari Rally, this is the first time we spend the most minimum amount of funds. Why? Because the federations now have come back together. They are looking at what we must do together. Um, spend less, but have maximum impact. <coughs> And I remember before you joined us, you used to encourage us to go that route because you are a friend to the ministry. Mm -hmm. And uh, in our meeting when we met for the first time, you also emphasized the same. We want to assure you that we will continue supporting you, we will continue cooperating with you to ensure that at the end of the day, this ministry shines as one of the ministries that is cost effectively running its affairs and it is going to do exploits in terms of the meets that they are going to undertake.
from now going forward. With those very many remarks, uh, allow me therefore then to welcome you so that you can be able to address this gathering. Uh, Mr. President, with a small p, for those uh, very good words that you've uh, given us this morning. Waziri, le let me on the onset again um, welcome you to your first function, official function, in the Ministry of uh, Youth Affairs, Creative Economy and Sports. Thank you. And, and, and let me also take this opportunity, like many of us have said, to congratulate you and say thank you to His Excellency the President for having, you know, realized that you are the right person to come and steer this ministry to the next level. I think we clap for <laughs> that, that, that very um, good gesture by His Excellency the President. Um, Waziri, we ha you have been in this space for quite some time. And for those of you who might not know, he is uh, an athlete in his own right. <laughs> not that he does the races like many of you might be doing, but he's been a football player. He's played for this country in very many other respects outside. And, and I think, again, we want to thank you for having been a patriot mm -hmm. in spirit in so far as issues to do with sports are concerned. And therefore, for me, um, I'm looking at a very positive uh, change in the management of the affairs of the sports and youth in this country going forward. Um, before I proceed, I will just ask the team from the Ministry of, uh, from the Department of Sports, just to stand so that you can be able to see who is here with us, who have accompanied you. We have uh, the director himself of uh, sports, uh, the DG, where is he? He's gone out. He was, he just he was here, he's just uh, stepped out. Yeah. We have uh, the DG Sports Kenya, Mr. Pius Meto, who is now our host officially here. We have the chairman of the board. Can you introduce yourself? Uh, thank you, thank you so much. Uh, uh, P.S. My name is uh, Peter Juguna Gitao. Uh, I also welcome you here. This is yeah. home. Yeah. Uh, ngetaka kushukuru vijana pia. Wala wanaenda kwa kilisha ichi hii. Mm -hmm. Mjisikia muko nyumba. Yeah, yeah. And the elder brother also qualified through under 20. Oh, very good. Mm -hmm. So it's not, um, it's not, it's not, uh, it's not by luck. Yeah. This, this under 20 championships, Bonawaziri, um, this is the 20th edition of the World Under 20 Championships organized by World Athletics. Okay. We have had quite a number of athletes who have gone through this, this program here. Mm -hmm. People like you know, David Rudisha yeah. in 19, 1996, he won in, in, um, in, in China while he was under 20. Yes. Faith Kibiagon, the same. Um, Beatrice Jebet, exactly the same. Mm -hmm. And all these other people who have gone through there, Wanyonyi, mm -hmm. you saw Wanoziri Wanyonyi yesterday running in the, in the Diamond League so, yeah. in Rome. He is now the second fastest in history oh. in 800 meters. Correct. 141.11. Mm -hmm. Only 20 seconds to uh, one, world record. To, to world record. Yeah. So maybe he's going to challenge Rhodesia's record now yeah. <laughs> because he's, uh, he's also running very well. So mm -hmm. they have all come through here. Mm -hmm. Mary Mora came through this program here. We used to have what you call um, World Under 18, which we hosted here in Nairobi in 2017. Mm -hmm. And that is when we discovered all these young, um, uh, these young runners. So we maintain that program because it's, a very, it's very important for us. Absolutely. The under 18, under 20 are the ones who are actually our future. Absolutely. And that is why, Waziri, um, we want to thank you and we want to thank the ministry for um, assisting us to have camps, um, camps in every part of this country. Mm -hmm. This is where we discover these fellows. Every now and then, when we have, every now and then, when we have camps, uh, because we have them uh, every school holidays, mm -hmm. and um, and we, we 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 maintain, we want to maintain that because um, the ministry and the government have supported us in this.
so that we can continue um, looking at looking at um, the new the new talents or mm -hmm. discover, discovering the new talents, and then we nurture them from there. In athletics, when I was here, um, we cover all the all the categories of athletics, starting from kids' athletics. Kids' athletics starts from year four up to 14. And that one, we also organize that uh, through, the, through the, the school system. Um, then from there, when they qualify, they qualify into what you call the youth, which is now under 18. The moment you get into 15, you actually qualify to be under 18. And then as they graduate from there, they now graduate into this under 20. Mm -hmm. And when under 20 graduates, they graduate into the senior. Now the ones who were in the Olympics the other day are now the seniors. And when they retire, they also qualify into what you call the masters. And I think um, uh, our masters team, actually, as we are talking here, are in Gothenburg in Sweden. And I think they are coming back. They are coming back. Um, Mr. Ajoki here gave them the flag when they were going. And they have done very well. They already have, I think, 11 gold or something like that. We were, we've, been, we've been following very closely. So even those who have, who have, who have retired, we still make them, you know, uh, uh, very active in the <coughs> competition. And they get very excited when they meet their colleagues whom they used to run together mm -hmm. um, when they were active. Mm -hmm. They have gone to Australia, they have gone to um, uh, Spain, and then so forth and so on. So now they are in, Sw in Sweden for the World Masters Championships. So we, ca so we cover the whole spectrum of athletics mm -hmm. from the beginning up to the end. Mm -hmm. Before this team was uh, um, uh, selected, we, of course, we had, a, we had quite a number of them who came for that selection, uh, and they competed from every part of our country. In our country, uh, Bonawaziri, we have subdivided our administration into 12, 12 regions to cover all the 47 counties in, in the country. So those, those, um, those, those ones which, which, which have been grouped into 12 now come together and they select their team, they come together, we, then we select the team like this. So this is now the national team. Mm -hmm. I also want to uh, thank you, Waziri, and, um, and the PS for having considered to fund this team as they are going out. Everything that we have done. Everything that they have gone through, including you know, um, even staying here because they have they have been training here, uh, air tickets, allowances, and all that kind of thing, it has all come from the fund. And um, and, and and I want to thank you for for, for supporting this team because of that. Uh, so we want to wish them all the very best of luck as they do as they live, uh, and as they have said, we are going to wait for good results uh, because the government has done everything possible. Uh, so that so you, you know, they, we, we want to see the returns now because that is the return. Yeah, that is the return. Um, and of course, as uh, for you, you are also going to qualify to as you prepare to qualify to the senior. Then you are going to test yourselves. So Nikuel, when I test, what you engine? Dunia mzima iko huko. Those of you who have never uh, seen the rest of the uh, you know the other the other athletes, now you are going to meet them there. Na hakuna kuokoba unaokoba nani? Hakuna mtu ya kuokoba huko. Kwa sababu wewe umetrain hata wao wanaokoba wewe. So wewe umetrain, wewe uko tayari. So go and do the best you can and then uh, uh, come back. We will also be there to see you. I'll, I'll be uh, one Waziri I'll be going there to on the behalf of World Athletics to to, to, to see them uh, through because of the program that has been set there. Otherwise, um, uh, as I finish, um, uh, it is important that um, you, uh, we thank God you go well, you go safely, have um, the safe skies. Yeah. You are flying for the first time. The first time, yeah. Who knows? Now, now you see your gope. Yeah, when you go away, you know. My first time, I was 24. <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations. So well done, well done. That's another another achievement. Mm. Mm. So, Banawaziri, without um, further ado, um, allow me very kindly to ask the APS um, because he has supported us so much. 
the PSI has really um, General Tue, the leadership of uh, the Sports Kenya led by my friend, the chair, uh, Mr. Gitao, and the CEO, uh, uh, Pius, and the rest of the uh, ministry officials who are here, our coaches, our, our managers, coaches, and the athletes, uh, good morning. Good morning. How are you? <laughs> um, it gives me great pleasure to be here this morning to witness uh, uh, this very important ceremony of uh, releasing you officially to go and represent our country. Um, I am also privileged to be doing this as my first assignment as a cabinet secretary in the Ministry of Youth Affairs, Creative Economy and Sports. Um, I am very excited uh, by the opportunity to be able to serve in this ministry and um, I truly, truly, truly uh, enjoy uh, sports and I was very happy that my first assignment was to be in Paris with our Olympics team. And uh, for the team that is here, just know that even when I am not a cabinet secretary, I am a fan of athletics, you know, and so... Um, I, I don't watch anything else on TV. I only watch sports throughout my life, uh, even throughout my political life. I don't want to offend the, the, the journalists who cover other news. The good news is that these are sports journalists. I don't watch the other things you usually report. I only watch this one. <laughs> this, is, uh, this is the most uh, important uh, event. You, when you leave your country, and I've always said this, even for us who are in political, and gov political life and government, we can have our different political and social, cultural uh, appreciations of everything we do within the country. And everyone is, has a right to hold a different view when you are in this country. But when you cross the, the border, either through the airport or the land or sea, we are all ambassadors of our great country called Kenya. And so we are not sending you out there just only to compete. Just know that you are our brand ambassadors. You are the image of your country. You are not a small person as you think at the moment. You may be coming from a small village. This is your first time to take a flight. As I said, my first uh, time to take a flight, I was 22 or thereabout. And uh, you may think that it's just you are on a trip, it is fun, it's okay. But let me tell you, you are going out there. The only thing people will see in the entire world is that how is Kenya? How are Kenyans competing? How do they look like? Where is this country where people are winning gold in this manner? So we are sending you forth to go and represent your country. And, and therefore, from the president from myself, from the cabinet, from the people of Kenya, we would like to really say that we wish you the very best and we look forward to you coming back home with all kind of medals. Uh, and if possible, with all the medals uh, in the areas uh, we are going to compete. I want to thank the PS uh, Engineer Tomb for the work he has been doing in this ministry. I want to thank my predecessor, even if he's not here, uh, Honorable Babu Namwamba, for the work they have done with the PS Tomb and, uh, and, uh, and the leadership in the ministry for making sure that they facilitate our sports and for laying the foundation in terms of establishing proper uh, grassroots uh, institutions, including sports academies across the country, to make sure that we identify the right people to go and compete. That is a job I have, I recognize and I appreciate, and I come to office to work with this team which is here to enhance that grassroots uh, approach towards identification of talent and nurturing and growing talent so that every other time we do not depend on the intuition of the athletes 
or the coaches or the lack of uh, students uh, just competing in schools, but there is a deliberate approach towards identification of that. And I want to thank the ministry for supporting those uh, efforts. I want to thank AK through the president who is here and the team that is here for the job they have done well for the last years, uh, and particularly the last few years when they have really focused on grass, grassroots identification of, of, the, of, of the team. And uh, well done, Mr. President, for a good job. Uh, I suspect that the reason why uh, PS was saying that <laughs> um, the PS was saying that things are done with precision, he only feared to say with military precision, uh, because General is the president of AK, and I, I think this kind of discipline that comes with sports can only be found in our armed forces. <laughs> and I want to say thank you very much for a good job. Uh, going forward, this is an area that we have agreed. Uh, as you know, General Tue is also not just the uh, uh, president of the AK, but also uh, vice president uh, in the in the World Athletics. And so we have an opportunity and uh, to leverage on his leadership at the international level insofar as sports is concerned. And we are very happy for that. We want to thank NOC and this leadership also, Paul and, and the team, for a, a job they did very well uh, in the last Olympics and the work they do to support the other federations under them. And, and this is really very commendable. We have also agreed with General Tue that we'll sit down with the team in AK to think about the future of the institution and how seamlessly we will continue building in the transition and leadership and growth of our young people and also mentoring other leaders who come in. We want to see... We want to see that even when transition happens in AK, it moves seamlessly and people who have grown through the athletics without any cues are taking over and growing and, and, and you know, the, the institution is growing. And I want to thank General for also uh, that very great um, uh, gesture. Let me say this, that um, as a ministry, we will continue uh, establishing more sports academies across the country. We will identify relevant areas for different sports. For football, the areas we'll do with football. For the athletics, we will do what we need to do in athletics. I want to say, that without fear of contradiction, having consulted AK, that there are schools that are already doing very well in establishment of athletics. Um, and we want to go there and support those schools. As a ministry, even with the little resources we have, we will find ways of supporting those schools, perhaps to even prepare their training grounds to look better and, and, and then for, for, for them to be able to access um, uh, uh, better training facilities. This we will work with the Ministry of, of Education. This is a collaborative effort, but we will see how we can extend that support. I know a number of schools personally, since I schooled in one of them, um, that have uh, a bias towards uh, establishing uh, a, a training ground for the athletes. We want also to encourage a Minister of Education. This is something you will see me with uh, CS Migos. We must formalize our engagement between sports and, and education in terms of a memorandum of understanding to see how the certain schools will give full scholarships to athletes so that they don't think about school fees. They go to those schools and their focus is education and train for the different disciplines that they want to participate in. That way we will establish <laughs> I will establish and earmark those schools to become schools of excellence in whatever sport they choose. If it is athletics, if it is football, if it is rugby, if it is basketball, if it is tennis, if it is swimming, we need to take advantage of the infrastructure that's already existing in schools to make sure that we, we grow talent. I know these young people have, have grown to where they are because of the communities and the schools that they have gone uh, through and the work that was done by their coaches who are teachers in their schools. And we must be able to support and recognize um, uh, uh, their, their effort. Um, uh, the other thing is to say that uh, Kenya is very competitive in athletics. For these young people to qualify, if you qualify to go, yeah, <laughs> you have already uh, done half of the competition. Yeah? But we are not telling you to sleep. <laughs> yeah, there are other countries that are also coping us and training and so forth. One of the things I've been told since I came to office is that what is lacking in training of athletics is, is science, is scientific, uh, applying science towards athletics, and therefore provision of facilities that can have 
um, uh, equipment and technology and training that is commensurate to the times that have changed so far. To that end, as you very well know, after this I will be visiting the facilities uh, here, what we are doing in Kasarani and uh, Nyayo Stadium and Talanda uh, uh, Stadium at uh, Ngong Road. And, and we want to make sure that all the stadia that are built in the country, whether by private sector or by county government or by national government, meet particular certified standards so that nobody will build a stadium without getting the certified standards. Otherwise, we will have the situation where in the first term of county government, so many county governments build stadia that not last even five years. Even the Tatan did not last one year. Yet public resources have been expended and yet we don't get benefit as a nation. We will be as a ministry soon gazetting the standards of building a stadium so that we certify the stadium and we identify and publicize so that when you have a training in any region, we can tell you in Iten, uh, you have a Lona Kiblagat Stadium, it is certified, you can train there, this is the fee they charge, you can be able to train your athletes there. We have Kamarin Stadium, it's a public uh, facility, this is what we train, this is what is going to happen. I'm just using that as an example because Kamarin has been in the public uh, scene for, for a long period of time. So this is something we are going to do for the status of the stadium. Number two is to make sure that after we complete all these projects that we are doing, we provide necessary facilities, the gym and the equipment that are required for us to train our athletes properly. We have been told that Kenya has lost its trademark sport, which is a steeplechase, because we've not provided the enough uh, training facilities for us to train our steeplechasers. And that is something we are going to make sure that we identify those places and uh, specifically support them for specific sports that require uh, specific facilities. For example, I, I'm wondering why pole vault is not uh, being, being uh, uh, trained in this country. You know, you just buy mattresses and a good place and, <laughs> and, and those poles and people can jam. I saw a gentleman and I have told my office to look for him that he was using a bamboo, something, <laughs> a bamboo stick to jam to do some pole vault. We should be able to provide this facility and we will have uh, uh, um, um, uh, competitors who will compete with Duplantis and others who are the world record holders. Um, we want also to support, uh, the, to make sure that all the teams that are supported by the government of Kenya, and they have gone out of the country with the signature of the government of Kenya, we will make sure that they are funded to a level that they will be able to compete uh, without having issues. Okay? We will not do half-half. Yeah? We will no longer have the culture of our sports people sleeping in an airport. If they have to sleep in the wrong place in an airport, it's just because of a mistake of an airline or that airport. It will not be because we do not facilitate them effectively. And that's the work that has already been done by the minister. I want to thank the peers, and we'll continue in that direction. We will also vet all funding to Space Federation for competitions globally to make sure that we do not fund fictitious institutions. Uh, we want to make sure that resources go only to institutions that have been vetted and for competitions that are recognizable. Yeah? And it's recognizable also if we are sending our athletes to go for, for a camp abroad. Those are things we, we will support. Third, we want to assure the people of Kenya that the delegation that will travel with these young people and future delegations, just like it happened in Paris, and the last few years there has been order. We will maintain that order to make sure that only essential persons are able to travel. But also, I see some of us just passing judgment without understanding. In Paris, for example, there are people who travel to become our supporters, their fans. You know? You don't even know if somebody paid for them their own ticket. They have sacrificed to go. They love athletics. They just want to go and support our team. And you are beginning to call them joy riders. You know? Sometimes some also go because of their responsibility to uh, what athletics or, uh, 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 or, or uh, Olympics. That again, we must be able to support them. We must support all our fans. And I want to request if there are Kenyans who live 
in, in Lima in Peru and they work there. Please come to the stadium the day our young men and women are running. Yeah. This is the time we depend on our Kenyans in diaspora to come and cheer these young people. Let me tell you, when I was in Paris and you see Kenyan flag, you feel so proud. And you see somebody who is not a Kenyan, a Mzungu, live, not Mzungu Kenyan, Mzungu of another country, you know, holding the flag there and saying, Kenya, go Kenya, go Kenya. And you see it is really motivating and encouraging to athletes. I think this is an area that we can grow our patriotism as a nation. I want to say also that uh, there has been general debate about uh, selection of the, of the team. This team has been selected and I have been shown through the process they have gone, they have been selected competitively. There are also more than 100 athletes who, if we leave them, they would still qualify. And they are Kenyans. So Kenya is not an easy place to qualify. There are other 100 who could run, who would have been in this trip, but these 22 are representing the many others who would have qualified. Kenya being competitive has led to a situation where some of our athletes have chosen to either live in other country or run for those countries. And for avoidance of doubt, as you are seeing as transport, we have no problem with any Kenyan who chooses to run or live in another country. We do not. And this is not the first time that has happened because I've seen the recent debate. When I was in high school, Wilson Kipkete decided to switch allegiance from, and he was a St. Patrician, like my, he's a St. Patrician like myself. He switched uh, uh, nationality to go to Denmark, you know. Lorna got married in, uh, 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 in, in Netherlands and ran for Netherlands. Bernard Langat moved to U.S., settled there, is now runs for U.S. Chelimo, uh, my friend Paul Chelimo, you know. Um, uh, we have had uh, many other athletes that have run for other countries. We used to have Stephen Cherono, who moved to Qatar, and he, the, Qatar almost supported us to build a good study. If it was not for just bad politics and, and people are saying, oh, you know, we would have had a study. Athletes going to look for opportunities abroad is equal to the labor we are exporting to go and work abroad. They should not be ostracized. <laughs> Those athletes must not be picked and ostracized. They must be supported the same way the president is supporting export of labor from this country to another country. So our sister Yavi has our full support to run for the country she's running for, but she must know she, we will allow athletes to run for other countries, but we will beat them. It's just unlucky. We are just unlucky the other day she beat us. But in terms of supporting them to run for another country, that's a choice. Labor migration in the entire world now is not an issue. And particularly for an Afri Africans like ourselves, it's not an issue we should use to fight any of our uh, citizens who gets an opportunity to run abroad. That competition that we get with them, and in any case, kama wewe ni mkenya, na umewana mkenya mwenzako wana kimbilia inji nyingine, mnajua, wote wana trainia hapa na hawa. Hile pesa yote wamepata, mnaona anajegea mama nyumba, na ansa biashara hapa, hiyo pesa yote narudi hapa nyumbani. Kwa za wewe, hey, shidako ni nini mwana. Sisi, sisi, sisi ni kwa kikisha, wale washa enda, waende wangangane, lakini sisi wende tumebaki tupige hawa, you know, to washide hawa, so that, we, we make sure that we give more opportunities to more athletes that are going to run uh, uh, for our country. So therefore, tunawategemea sana, tunawatuma katika jina la yesu, muende mushindane, musipate injuries, ya, mupate nafasi ya kukua nambari moja kwa zote, nyinyi pia muko vijana chini ya miaka ishirini, tunawategemea kwa Olympics 2028. Ya, Sasa, musichukulia hii kama ni mzaa tu hivi ya tini kukimbia hivi hivi. Sisi tunawaangalia, mukirudi, tutakua tumejua nani alishinda nini, hata kama huku shinda kabisa, tunawana ulikuwa tayari kabisa vile umeshindana, tunaendelea kuwasaidia, mukitrain, 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 kwa sababu 2028, hakuna timu ngine tunategemea, ni njini na ndugu zenu wadogo. Wale walishindana juzi wengi wawo watakua mefika umri, ya kuweza kuondoka kutoka pengine eh, mashindano fulani. Na kwa hivyo tunawategemea na Asante General vile umesema eh, kina Faith, uh, Beatrice, uh, Wanyama, I really eh, Wanyonyi, I really believe Emmanuel Wanyonyi in our lifetime will uh, reduce that time by the remaining 20 seconds. 
to take uh, Rudisha's uh, record uh, and run maybe 140-90, uh, uh, even, even if it's by one minute. But all of these athletes need our personal support, our, uh, our support as a country and their coaches and their training camps. Nitatembea Kenya Mzima nione penye mna trainia, love to one vile tutasaidiana kwa kisha hiyo facilities imekuwa mazuri. Nimezema mamba mingi sana kwa sababu ni siku ya kwanza na hii ni ubaya ya kuwa waziri na kuwa tena fan at the same time. <laughs> Unaongeza mambo mingi, unaongea mambo mingi. Lakini niko hapa kusema nimefurahi sana. Mkirudi nyinyi mnajua kila mmoja wenu ako na haki ukishinda medali ya dhahabu uko na uh, shilingi 1500. Yenye inaenda mfuko direct. Ukishinda ya uh, ya fedha uko na 1350. Ukishinda ile ya shaba uko na 1150. Lakini mimi nimetaka kusema namna hii kama waziri yenu anybody atashinda medali nitaongeza mimi kivi yangu na marafiki yangu kila mtu 1100. Tumeelewana namna hiyo? Sasa mkirudi mimi nataka tu nione medali ni medals ni over 10 nimekuja hapa mmesanya kwa hii displays ni ni hii ni displays ni 800 1500 300 flat 300 steeple chase 3000 sorry 3000 flat 3000 steeple chase na 5000 na na work race work race ya ya 5 sasa mtu lete tu medals and will take care of your interest wangapi wenu wako shule let me all of you are in school very good pigao ma Nani ako form 4? Allah. Pigia wa makofi candidate. We really have to speak with the education ministry to have a clear uh, roadmap for supporting our athletes uh, and, and sportsmen who are in schools so that they get proper training and get admission to good courses and colleges where they can continue their education. Asanteni sana na Mungu awabariki. Thank you very much. So, so the flag